few days. I'm feeling really nauseous and um, kind of sick, so I went to the doctors. And um, I have something to tell you. Miss Helen pregnant. I don't know what to do. do this without you. It's just not supposed to be like this. You're supposed to be here. I don't think I can keep it. Just be a constant reminder of you. So can't keep coming here. I guess I kept thinking if I kept coming and talking to you, that somehow, somehow you'd hear me. But I also feel like I'm going totally insane. I can't do anything. I can't function. My life just stopped. And it can't stop forever. I have to try and move on somehow. But I won't be coming back again.
Hola. How are you? <laughs> mm, I'm good. Thank you. It's just in the neighborhood, so I wanted to stop in and see mom. And... Well, your mother is sleeping right now. She had a busy night last night. She did? Why? What happened? I found your mother playing the piano at 3 a.m. in the morning. What? <laughs> yes. She was playing the same melody over and over again. But she doesn't play piano. Yeah, she does. Since when? <laughs> well, I don't know. I've never heard her playing, but she's good. <laughs> what was she playing? I don't know. It was something slow and sad, but quite beautiful. I mean, that was Dad's piano. Dad was always playing, but she never, she never touched it. Well, I don't know. Maybe it's something that she learned when she was younger. Hmm? I guess so. It's just strange. She's, she's never mentioned it to me. Well, I guess we should start calling her Mozart instead of Martha. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Um, I guess just given everything, I'm surprised that she remembers, you know? Yeah. Sometimes music can tap deep into meaningful memories that aren't lost to Alzheimer's. But there is nothing to be alarmed about. However, I think we need to start thinking about moving her to a home. There has been a visible decline. She can't stay here. Yeah. Not for much longer. It's for the best. Okay. Okay. I'll start thinking about next steps. Thank you. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> okay, well, text me when Mozart's awake. I will. Okay. Oh, Sam! I found this on your mother's bedside table last night. Wow, mom is just full of surprises. <laughs> my darling Sam, if you're reading this, it means my health has deteriorated and my mind isn't what it once was. I need you to know that I've agonized over writing this letter for such a long time. But there's something very important that you need to know. You'll find a key in this envelope. Take the key and visit our special place on the beach, the one I used to take you to every weekend in the summer. Beneath the front of the tree, I buried a metal box in the sand. This was over 30 years ago, so I'm hoping you can retrieve it. Use the key to open the box. Inside, you'll discover a secret I've kept your whole life. Before your father, I was head over heels in love with another man, Sam Fraser. In the summer of 1987, Sam proposed and we got married three weeks later. Tragically, he passed away in a car accident three months after that. I was completely devastated and pregnant. You arrived six months later. Sam is your real father and your namesake. Of course your dad knew, and he loved you as his own. Please forgive me for not sharing this with you sooner, but I couldn't bring myself to admit something I had kept secret for so long. A mistake I will forever regret. I know this will be a lot for you to process, but I need you to know you are the most precious gift I have ever received. And being your mother has brought me the greatest joy of my life. I will love you always and forever. 
mampu.